cold. Yes. to give it to you. Uh, good night. You're even more energetic than before. Man, am I glad you're okay. When you went missing, I swear that was the most scared I've ever been. Plus, uh... Um, I don't really remember what happened. I'm sorry. Nanako-chan. Yosuke? You need to practice not sticking your foot in your mouth. I mean, seriously. Sorry. You can't blame her for not remembering. It was the same for us. Besides, it's better that she forget. That's right! Nanako-chan is better now, and that's all that matters! Oh yeah, is Dojima-san coming by? Dad, he went to work today. We'd just be bothering him if we asked him to come here. We're supposed to be celebrating, not having him buy us lunch. Because I'm sure that's what he'd do. Nanako-chan, aren't you bored just sitting and talking here? No, it's fun being with everyone. There's plenty of snacks, too. Nana-chan, let's go see all the food tasting stands. The kind ladies will cook you anything you want right in front of you. No, they don't. I know they're always yelling at you. What about Tag, then? You run around, and then these scary guys come after you. It's so thrilling. That's store security. Heck, your whole idea of fun is just pissing people off. And no running! That'd be fun to play hide-and-seek in a store this big. Hide-and-seek? I'm good at that. Both the hiding and the seeking. Oh. Big Bro, did you come find me? Wait, that's... Nanako-chan? Do you remember? Not... Really? But I remember everyone coming for me. You are all cool, like those heroes on TV. Nana-chan. <laughs> I was able to become Nana-chan's hero. Don't cry, Ted. I'm, I'm allergic to people who cry. <laughs> I see. You remember. Then let's do it for reals. Juness, hide and seek. Really? Is that okay? We still have time before the special announcements. Plus, there's no need to run and hide and seek. If I tell my manager, I'm sure he'll let us use the electronics section. That's my boss! I'll be rooting for you when you write your apology! 
If I get permission, then I won't have to write one. This is so exciting! Nanako-chan, which part do you want to do first? Um, both! Alright, winner gets meat! Why are you betting? None of this makes sense. Welcome back. Yo. Thank you. I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually customer's day for me today. That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customers. We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time, too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. So I asked them to sign me up. Y you think so? I was embarrassed. I played customer once before, too. But it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having Mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager. That I wanted to leave Inaba. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. It made me realize how small I was. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. 
I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, and looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. Persona? I see. So I can still change. Ever since I fell in love with you, I felt myself changing into someone completely different. I keep finding sides of myself I never noticed before, and I love every one of them. It would make me happy if you did too. Please, continue to stay at my side. Senpai! Yeah! Senpai. Whoa. I want you to have this, Senpai. Later, senpai.
hair is sharp as always. Hmm, I guess this is more my thing after all. Oh. My shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Actually, I was... Oh, you promise you won't laugh? I was studying and stuff. <laughs> I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I thought, if my life had been different, I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realized that no matter how trivial something seems, it's related to my life. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then, the things they did, their culture, it's all connected. And it's tied to me too. It's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, cried, and died there. Math and physics, too. They may not make any sense to me, but they're things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up, and then I'd come back to it again. <laughs> it's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? Sure! I know I'll understand better with you explaining to me. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. But I think what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now, though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them and myself, I can always find a path. That's what I think. This will help me do more to protect the ones I love. No matter how far away you go, we all want to protect you. We all love you, after all. Welcome back. Ha <laughs> ha. 
You can have this. Night.
you? Just a little longer? From me to you. It's so huge, so wide, so salty! Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Wow! The winter sea is really cool, too. Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you, too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Come on! Try and catch me! Sensei, why is the sea so huge? The world. I know what that is. It's where everything is, and everything in it is connected. The sea's sparkly. I didn't know anything about anything until I met you and everyone else. Fun things, feelings that make me want to cry, how the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything, and I never thought about wanting to learn either. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. I think that's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There's still tons of things I don't understand. And I don't know what I'm gonna do from here either. But I've decided that I'm gonna do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared, I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. That's why you too, Sensei. S -sen sensei! <laughs> Be 
because you're going away soon. I want you to know, Sensei. But I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. <laughs> If saying sorry solved everything, we'd never need the police. Then Pops wouldn't be in trouble. <laughs> but I'll be okay. It's sad, but being sad is part of life, too. I've made my decision to stop relying on you so much, Sensei. I will now enter the independent Teddy chapter of my life, so that this time I can be your Sensei. Something came out! I'm an all-new model now! Teddy version 3! Or is it 4? Maybe I should study counting first. Oh, but even though I've entered my independent phase, I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me. I'm not that independent yet. You're back. Senpai. Good night, Senpai. That line over there is the shopping district. That's us. <laughs> We're so small. I need to remember that. Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see, I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizet, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? And my old manager, Inoue-san? For my family? 
everyone, you, and for myself. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Rosette. A Rosette without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. The many Riseis inside of me, I want to cherish them. I quit thinking about such stupid things. I mean, in reality, there's no such thing as a real me or a fake me. As long as you know what you really want to do, no matter how hard it is, you'll be okay. I can do it! Thanks to you, being with me. I want to find lots of different me's, and I want to get stronger, so instead of running away from them, I'll welcome them with open arms. I was relying on you, but I want to be able to stand on my own two feet. Thank you, Senpai. I love you. I got that out. I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's go eat somewhere. After all, come spring, I won't be able to do that anymore. Let's go, senpai. You're back. you to have this. Good night.
Thanks. <laughs> but really getting it is totally different. I mean, really finding yourself. You better stick around till then. home. Welcome home! Hmm. Sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. I'm not really death. any special powers like that. I am not death. Just another boring human being. Waiting for a miracle that never came. Before I knew it, I was wishing death on the one person I loved most in the world. I was lonely, forgotten, and loving, being loved. All that is what goes into making us human. <laughs> but it's too late now, isn't it? gone. I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. I want to see you again.
Yo! Thank <laughs> you. 